Hey there, it's Pete C for Sample Live Review, and today I am checking out the Synchronize Voices Bundle by Vienna Symphonic Library. The human voice is not only a wonderful instrument to compose with, it is also incredibly diverse. With that in mind, Vienna Symphonic Library have converted their Voices Libraries into the four-volume Synchronize Voices Bundle. This features the Synchronized Vienna Choir, Synchronized Soprano Choir, Synchronized Solo Voices, and Synchronized Whistler. From delicate choirs to soaring lead parts, coupled with the features of the Synchron Player, these newly edited samples are ready to go out of the box into your next production. The Synchronize Voices Bundle downloads at 49.4 gigabytes and features four volumes with newly edited samples. There are a whole range of articulations and there are a mix of presets to put the voices into any environment you choose. The Synchronize Voices Bundle uses the Vienna Symphonic Library Synchron Player plugin, which now requires iLock. The Voices Bundle normally sells for 515 euros. Before we jump in and take a closer look of this awesome collection of voices, I've made a short demo out of the Garden of Dreams, which is one of the VSL Prime tutorials. Now, I've used the Vienna Choir and some solo voices just to see how it sounds in context, and I have just use some of the MIDI information from the string section and take away the key switches and played with the modulation just to get it to sit right in the mix. So it's not perfect, but you get a great idea of how these as an ensemble work together. We're going to start off with the Synchronize Vienna Choir and in that demo you could hear three layers of the Vienna Choir and then I did use a soprano soloist just to bring out the melodies but it just creates this gorgeous sort of vocal um, richness to your pieces. Now as I said the demo wasn't perfect and I did cut it off towards the end because some of those really fast runs just didn't quite work. However you just get the idea that this is a gorgeous sounding collection. So we are going to play the uh, full choir and just the R's. So I've got to play the, uh, or use the mod wheel quite a lot, otherwise there's no expression. So playing a full sort of arrangement is quite tricky while doing that, but you get the idea. So if I play up high, So 
so you, you get the the sort of oval feeling of the sound uh which is very angelic and sounds just lovely <laughs> So that's the long notes and that's uh, using the normal articulation. Now all the articulations are key switchable. So if you've used a Synchron player before, really, really easy to use. And then we've got different vibrato. So we can have Expressivo, which is my favorite. And then you have the crossfade option as well. Um, you can assign that to CC20. You can see it's going from normal to adding vibrato. So having vibrato, uh, vibrato control over a choir is very, very cool. Then we've got the marcato, and you can see now we've got different consonants. So on that Mercato got different consonants and then of course got different types of vibrato and it's uh, on crossfade there. And then we have the same, but we have a, a U or an U, so a uh, not a. Uh. <laughs> uh, go back to some long notes and normal. And then we have the same um, marcato as well. So if I go back to the R's, we have staccato. Just gotta make sure I press a key to trigger them. And these are very responsive to velocity. So again, you can use key switches to change the consonant. And you can have a bit of a, a rhythm and almost like a sort of spoken variation, I guess. Oops. And of course, I've got to really hammer it on my controller to get the volume out. Then you've got the Raz. And ta. Then we have long copy, which is uh, exactly the same as long. So I'm not 100% sure um, what that's all about, but there we go. Then dynamics. So we have sforzate. So the library can get quite loud. Uh, crescendo as well. So let's go for a four second crescendo. Could bring up the volume like so. 
Dutch and need to use the mod wheel. They've got Crescendo Marcate. And then diminuendo. So again, we'll stay on four seconds. And the next articulation is called creepy. And you can choose between male, female, or merge. So if you just go on male. Excuse the mod wheel. And female. sound cool and then you can merge them and get more of a cross section and it's things like this that I really really like having uh, the creepiness the clusters and before I actually started using these synchron voices. Uh, if I just have a quick look, it is going a bit off piece, as it were. Um, I absolutely love the Ganymede choir. I'm a huge fan of the Big Bang Orchestra. But here, uh, you got this 2T effects, which is really, really cool. So having things like that going on is very, really cool. And I feel like the synchron voices has, obviously it's you know, the, the same uh, recorded space, I believe, and it just has exactly the same quality. Let's go back to the full choir. So you run these cluster effects. But of course now, instead of a handful of keys and pitches or the atonal pitches, you have more control over these now. So yeah, I absolutely love those. So that is the articulations, and again, we're on the full choir, and again, everything just works with um, the U articulation. And while there is no legato, as it were, the notes just really do blend into each other. Sounds great. And then you've got some breathing. Um, so. You never know if you're going to need it, but some breathing sounds as well. Looking over at the instruments, you can break it down into sections. So everything uh, is almost the same. Uh, but you can see here we've got glissando. So 
So again, it's those sort of effects we're talking about. Then more cluster options. So you've got a performance cluster. Brilliant. Um, let's open the bonus soprano. So 32 singers is the bonus instrument. They have the altos. And again, the same articulations now with glissando. Tenors. And then basses. It's got my keyboard there. And then you have just the female choir. So we're just going to look at a few controls as well. And you can hear the release. It's quite short. Let's say you just want it longer. And let's say you want the attack not to be as hard. So again, you can really sort of mold and shape the sounds. You've got humanized tuning as well, um, which is cool. So after all, they are humans singing away. So that's without the human eyes. And then with it, let's exaggerate it, 99. So there's a couple of ideas. Um, there's also time stretching if you want to play around with that. So in a more of a practical situation, uh, you may want to do that as stretch samples. But that's generally the controls for the performance. So yeah, plenty to do there. Uh, the male choir. So again, all the same articulations and the full choir we've covered. Now, Really, really important mixer preset. Um, again, you're going to have all of these going on. So if I go uh, ethereal, sounds great. VSL are 
renowned for their realism and that's really why I use so many of their products They're just so realistic it's often overlooked these really cool um effects So you can do some really, really cool uh, sort of sound design, as it were. I absolutely love the distant. And of course, passages like that, really, really simple melodies, I'd sort of program to make them sound smoother um, but it is just my keyboard playing but there we go so we have um, the synchronized Vienna choir now there's four more parts sorry three more parts this collection so the soprano choir um, 16 singers and again we've got the same two articulations And when I say articulations, I mean uh, two vowels. And it just sounds so angelic. And you can see you've got staccato. and legato Absolutely love that legato. Then marcato, marcato. Yeah. Which uses velocity control depending on uh, where it's the uh, U or U or it really hits it hard. too low there and then dynamics I go back to the A or R so not as many options here um, on the crescendo until you get to the marcato Sounds cool. Brilliant. And Forte Piano, which is new. I've got to stop playing the mod wheel. So really, that is, it's going to go again. So that is the soprano choir. Now, what I do is actually layer that on top of the Vienna choir um, to get that sort of legato feel, but it just sounds like really angelic. So go back to that legato again, and you can hear the dynamic range.
Sounds gorgeous. Now, the solo voices, uh, these are incredible. So you can see, um, got the coloratura soprano, then soprano, mezzo soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, bass, and double quartet. So I'll start at the top. And again, you can see there's consistency in these articulations. And the clarity is just stunning. Oops. Let's go straight for the legato. That's a belter. Um, yeah, brilliant. And then you got uh, trill. some dynamics I love that release Brilliant. Let's go for a longer one. And then glissando. Sorry, glissando. I don't know what I said glissado for, but there we go. Obviously, you wouldn't play them, you know, in sequence like that. But yeah, they, they sound great and they get more powerful as you go up in pitch. Uh, and you could do glissando up. So you can get that real human quality to your performances uh, with sort of performances like that, as it were. That sounds brilliant. So let's go um, soprano. So you can hear as, you know, the, the peaks and troughs, as it were, in the volume. Staccato as well. Oops. that range bit there um but yeah th these sound brilliant but the legato again sounds superb so let's do um one crescendo but we get the idea I 
My chair just creeped that time. Let's do that one more time. So a bit of a chord, it really adds weight to it. We've got the mezzo soprano. Let's go uh, straight through the legato. It just sounds stunning. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little bit of glissando. Brilliant. Then we've got the alto. Let's go for the tenor. Baritone. Well, here the glissando. Then the bass. Let's go legato. And VSL sort have of recorded these in situ, so you can hear from the bass, which is almost. Uh, well, it's towards the right, and then soprano, it's going to be more towards the left. So when you put it all together, um, yeah, it's just a well-rounded uh, vocal experience. And there we have... Double quartet. And that's using polyphonic legato there as well, which is uh, very, very cool. So, they are the solo voices. Then the last one is the whistler. And this is my secret weapon. Um, not so long ago, I made a Spaghetti Western album. In fact, I love making Spaghetti Western music. And my whistling... <whistles> is not fantastic. So I did actually try and record some, and I sort of sketched out the tracks, and I was desperate to find a good whistling instrument and I tried a few and there's some really good ones out there but this is the one that I used. Yeah I'm not set up onto one controller so my right hand Actually, my left and right hand are both controlling and I'm trying to play a melody with my thumb. And it's not working quite well. But the idea is you can cross-fade and gradually bring in vibrato. I'll go back to my original octaves. So yeah, love that. Um, so that's the long notes. You've got Marcato.
Legato. The legato is amazing, and this is really the articulation I used all the way through uh, my album. So it goes really, really high. Again, if you worry about it being piercing, you can tame that with some EQ. Um, and we go to a mixer preset. Um, let's go, let's have a quick look. I love these presets. Yep, I can spend ages messing around with those. Let's go back to the uh, instruments. So, short notes, staccato. Tate, short. Medium with vibrato, I guess. Legato. Uh, I want to say repeat. Let's have a quick listen. Yeah, they're like little trills. And potato long. Brilliant. We've got piano forte, piano. I can adjust that by length. Do like that. Trill. Did use the trills a lot as well, have to admit. It's actually trilling that against harmonica. Oh, got a four there as well. And then whole tone trills with a four. Brilliant. Portamento. With the fall at the end. Absolutely love it. Let's, let's go a bit wider. Superb. So get, getting those um, articulations is just easier now. And glissando, bend up. Fours. And up and down. So some pretty cool uh, vocal effects. <laughs> I'm sure you could uh, simulate some sort of cartoony type sounds, but that's the Whistler. Uh, use it a lot. So there we go. Now that is the entire collection. It's a bit of a whistle stop, um, taking nearly 45 minutes to get through, but go onto the VSL website and listen to it in context. So every time you hear a choir and you hear it just on its own, for me, it, it always needs that context. So it, it kind of makes sense and it blends. So that's what I really, really recommend doing. But these are top quality um, vocals. 
My final thoughts about the Synchronize Voices bundle. It's really, really diverse. So everything is sort of sampled together and it gels and blends together really, really well. But the sampling is incredibly pristine. And your sort of bread and butter, legato, sustains, shorts, it's all there and it all sounds fantastic. Now, it's not going to be an epic library uh, in terms of if you're doing like huge trailer productions you'd use this in like the sort of softer places and the staccato is really really cool for like more musical passages but if you want just kind of like big sort of raw shouts like almost like viking stuff it's not really gonna have that but it does have this amazing dynamic range so it could be incredibly quiet and then sort of really really ramp up and I love that so there's certain times during the review where I had to sort of back off the volume or increase the volume just to compensate but when you're working in a production with it it just you know sort of flows really naturally and gels and fits really really well so if you're coming like I did from the Big Bang uh, orchestra vocals over to the Synchron or the Synchronized it's not a particularly difficult learning curve um, but you feel like you've got more control over the voices and believe me I love the Big Bang stuff so yeah um, it does a lot and it's not just for ultra realistic um, productions or compositions uh, it's very very cinematic and there's a lot you can do with this choir uh, sorry with these voices and the Whistler um, you know the, the choirs are brilliant and the solo voices are amazing but I just love the Whistler and I've used it on so many tracks now um, the older version so I can't wait to sort of get really stuck into all the extra articulations that I didn't really use before so who do I feel this is for I've already said if you do mock-ups where you need ultra realistic choirs like they're in a room in front of you or in front of your mixing desk this is perfect also if you do cinematic music um, or music for media again this is perfect this really reminds me of um, sort of like the video game genre uh, I won't name any video games but you get the idea like these sort of like haunting choirs and um, then they explode into like these sort of more powerful choirs um, having effects like the shouts and the clusters if you do horror Again, these are really cool. All the falls, the performances, like the glissando, um, just add the human element. So it's when you start chaining and key switching, uh, which I can't do in real time. I'm, I'm not a key switch wizard. Um, I know some people are. But when you start programming and you sort of jump from articulation to articulation, you just come out with these amazing vocal performances so if you need some amazing vocal performances as i just described them this really is the library for you i'm going to use it in so many different genres of music um right from sort of more chorale music all the way up to put them in trailers maybe a bit scandi noir in between on some crime tracks i mean it's so diverse and of course spaghetti western which is really one of my favorite genres so yeah if you need a good set of voices at an affordable price um 515 euros it's a lot of voice for that um and obviously vsl have different upgrade paths if you have um different products by there so it's worth logging in and checking it out and contacting them um obviously if you're educators as well then you can do that Thank you so much for checking out this review of the Vienna Symphonic Library Synchronize Voices Bundle. Um, I'm yeah, absolutely blown away with it. Really, really enjoyed getting to know these libraries and doing this review. It also happens to be my 100th review for Sample Library Review. So I just want to take this moment... Um, to do a little bit of reflection and thank you all. I think when I joined, we had about 16,000 subscribers and run uh, just over 30,000. And I've had some amazing comments, met some amazing people, um, even got a troll or two, which was uh, pretty good fun. And yeah, um, here's to many more. 
But anyway, back with my uh, sign off. So thank you so much for checking out this review. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a comment let us know what you like and how you'd use this instrument and also leave a like on the video if you feel like you'd like to if you've not done so already please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on youtube and then head over to sampliedreview.com to find out everything that is going on in the world of virtual instruments until next time have a superb day and take care <laughs>